I come in at you with another reactionary video. So hit that like button. I'm part of party juice. My original purpose of my channel was to give game and advice to you. Specifically, the underserved within my community, the young black men. A lot of y'all don't got old heads giving y'all advice like we had, giving y'all game. Lost them here. Right? But somehow, some way, giving advice to young men turn into picking on women. Like, these pat, these podcast bros, you need to take that mic. Uh, we just sharing our experiences on what we did, had to deal with, and what we went through. All the F boy ish that we did when we was young. Don't do this, don't do that. Like, I tell young men all the time. I'm not telling you not no single mothers. I just tell you be cautious in dating single mothers. And the ladies today wonder why men are not like they used to be when I was coming up, you know, all chivalrous and ain't and, and gonna open the door. Because y'all tend to be a bit ungoddamn great. Okay? And you like to use and play men. All right? Now, this is for the youngers out there who, you know, don't want to listen to reason when we tell y'all to boy women like this. Be cautious when you're dating single mothers. You know, ain't the kid's fault. I'm not trying to deal with your multiple baby daddies. I'm not trying to. You know, if y'all want to hear my opinion on Dating single mothers, go watch my old video. Get to this. At one point, I ain't gonna even be mad at them. I am mad at them. At one particular point in this video, that I'm truly perturbed with this young lady. Other than that, it's old boy own fault for like she got the clown emoji on your face. Clowning yourself, man. Single mother from New Orleans, shout out Louisiana. Yo. Said she used man to fun trip to carnival with kids. He a whole unattractive simp. Used the man for to take her kids out for another dude. And she get on the internet trying to expose him, calling him an unattractive simp. Can't make this shit up. All right, Peter Kevin Samuels. Jeez, let's hear her explanation. But I'm on. I'm on pause it immediately when I when 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 the issue I have with her, which is a huge issue, when the issue I have with her occurs, I might even let it pass by the end stop because it's probably going to obviously see video. y'all do is sit on this internet and judge people at the end of the day i did what i had to do as a mother my kids should not go without living life because i can't afford to do something like earlier that week my baby daddy had gave me like 300 dollars, but i had to get my hair and stuff done it's only messed up now because i slept on it i had to get my hair yeah it wasn't even that long 18 seconds in you you, you kidding me you kidding me your baby dad early that week gave money for his churn like, why y'all be out here talking about black men don't take care of their kids and we drive men and we dead beast? He gave this lady $300 for his kid. what she do? I got to go get my hair done. I got to get my nails done. And after she done spent the, the kids' money that the father gave her, she go self searching for some dude to sponsor her kids. Like, how? 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 I don't get it. Like, can somebody please explain that to me? The father of the children gave you money for his kids. You used the money for yourself. Now you looking for a dude to sponsor your kids. Bro. And now you're on the internet calling him, which he is a simp. Like, $300. He gave me $300 every week, but I had to get my hair done, 
it, it, it ain't it ain't done now. Like, why do you paying for something that ain't gonna last but a couple of days? Bro, let let me let's let's rewind that. Go without living life because I can't afford to do the day I did what I had to do. Let's, let's get rid of it. My kid gotta know what I did when I to do it. Hey, bro, it ain't nobody else problem that you can't afford to have children. Like, kids got to learn early. You can't get what you want. I can't take you to the carnival this year. Who has a mother? My kids should not go without living life because I can't afford to do something. But that's weird. Because they ain't. Daddy gave you $300. But you selfishly spent it on. I can't get past this first eight. Yeah, they do the same. Yeah, she using. But bro, what kind of game? What what part of the game is this? Oh, this for my baby daddy. Spend it on myself. Go self searching. Cause like, come on, fellas, how many times you heard this? Probably be egging that women do. I don't know how I'm gonna feed my kids. Oh, bro, I know she didn't threw you some red flags, some signs for her trying to milk your ass. Okay. I don't know how to feed my kids. Um, I, I, I just don't answer. What they want you to say is, oh, boo, I see you some money on cash up. Feed them little. Nah, them little bastards ain't my children. I don't get me wrong. If I'm in Baltimore, I, I, I mean, I'm caught. I'm a data singer, but I'm a butterfly. I'm old. But, bro, I don't say yo, you raising them little children. All right. Like you mental, you big bro. Oh, hey. Like earlier that week, my baby daddy had gave me like three hundred dollars, but I had to get my hair and stuff done. It's only messed up now because I slept on it. I had to get my hair, lashes, nails, and stuff done. So that's what I had to use the money from him for. My kids make good grades and everything in school, and they want to go to the fair, and they deserved it. So I seen an opportunity with old dude. Like, okay, he been in my inbox and stuff. He been begging me to go out to take me out and stuff like that. So I gave him my number, conversed with him a little bit. Stop being in these three old foes inboxes, bro. I don't know you. I can't nobody tell you. I don't. No, I don't. You're not gonna have no. You're not gonna have no paperwork on me being no simple in there. He all up my inbox. No, I wasn't. You a lot. You a goddamn lot. Stop being these, stop thirsting behind these women in the inbox, bro. That's not going to help you. Hey, Mom, dang, you know how many dudes shoot they shot women like this on Instagram and, and Twitter and Facebook? It ain't going to work. If she do respond nine times a ten, she's going to respond with a cash app link or Venmo or if you want to talk to me, like, like, bro, I'm trying to tone the real, you know, the the inside me now. I'm trying to be, you know, the outside me. But inside me to be cursing like a soul. Like, God damn it. And I invited him out to the fair because I knew he was the type of person that was going to pay for it. So all I did was deal with She knew he was the type of person that was going to pay for it. She smelled simp off of you a mile away, bro. Like, I gotta get this game to people in real life, bro. Man, don't don't be a sucker. Don't be a sucker. Don't be a sucker. What I had to do as a mama to make sure my kids can enjoy themselves. So I don't care how y'all look at me and how y'all judge me. I am a dick. And then you, you hear how she trying to uh, victim be victim mentality. Like, I'm, I'm what y'all say about me? I'm a good mom. The daddy gave you money. Like, ain't like your ass out here on the street, homeless and broke. Who, the father of the children, gave you $300. I don't, why is that part getting missed? Like, okay, I'm about to see you 300 You can take my kids to the carnival. You ain't, your ass been wearing a bonnet seven days. Uh, six days out of seven every week. Now, all of a sudden, you can't wear a bonnet now. 
You better wear that bonnet and take my kids and go get them to go to the carnival. The carnival. But no, I gotta get my hair. Like you selfish ass. Damn good mother. It's a lot of moms that wouldn't even do what I do to make my kids happy. Yo, a lot of moms wouldn't go get the money from the daddy, spend it on themselves, then go find a trick to sponsor their children. A lot of moms wouldn't do that at all. Wouldn't do that. Congratulations. Happy, I am a good mom. You know, like, I don't want to. I'm not attracted to him. I did what I had to do. Fuck that bitch, ain't no re all right, I'm not going to play the rest because we got music playing in the background. I ain't trying to get no copyright strike, so. He's really, this her, this her explain. So my kids really wanted to go to the fair, and I couldn't afford to take them at a central ass $300. You can't afford to. That's what the daddy for, right? Right? That's what I always say. That daddy was talking to Sent you three hundred dollars. You went. You ain't paid a bill. You ain't say I, I, I had to spend that three hundred dollars on the water bill, on the rent, on my car no on putting food in the fridge. Right? Nah, bitch. You said I need to go get my hair and nails and lashes done, so I can go trick hunting, simp hunting. Like, what if you didn't find a simp? Your kids would have had to do it out because you spent three hundred dollars on yourself. Oh, I'm about to try to do a trick. I couldn't afford to take them, so as a mother, I did what I had to do. Like, uh, that's another phrase I get so sick of saying. Mother say, "I had, I did what I had to do." But bitch, you need to go to jail, okay? Because that what you just did was a crime. Not what you did is a crime. A lot of y'all be out here committing crimes. I'm I had to do that. I had to feed my kids. Uh, when you get paid, stop blowing your money on what you want and take care of your responsibilities. Then when shit hit the fan, you were like, I don't know, I'm going to feed my kids. Well, when you had the money, you spent it up on bullshit. Now you looking for some simp dude to come fucking right now. You rescue your ass and your children. But I... He's an unattractive simp, but you still spent my money. I have been trying to take me out for months. SMS says, smack your ass, bro. You're talking about the one, I'm talking about the dude, bro. Like, like if you, you can tell signs of when women are interested. You don't have to work that hard when a woman is interested in you. You ain't got to be running behind her four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Text that you just sent and she ain't responding. Like, none of that. Months? I'm going to try to get you for months. But I'm not attracted to you. So I gave him some attention and made him feel good. I used him. Anyways, invited him to the fair because I knew he would pay. I would have showed up to that fair and I would have been buying cotton candy and snow cone. I would have bought your ass Nathan. Okay, so we leave the fair about 9.30 p.m. And he asked me to come over to his house after I get my kids. I went to F.O. Bro, that's some New Orleans. I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of trying to New Orleans. I'm in and I'm from Baton Rouge. To women's attitude and accent, so it kind of get me. I went up on this man because I guess he thought spending some money meant I was going to give him some. So it's cool for you to use me, but I can't get nothing from you. Then mm -mm -mm. the man started apologizing. I apologize. This is why y'all hate Pookie's and Ray Ray. Because Pookie and Ray Ray was going get to get that slide in. He wasn't going to take your stupid ass no fab. He was still going to get it. Then I apologize. And how he can't see a future with me and my kids. Blah, blah, blah. So disrespectful, bro.
so disrespectful. This man, this type of women that you do go get a passport, y'all shit. Because a woman don't want you. Nobody wants you. Then we ask 45 and your kids 18 to 20. And you're lonely. You got know, beer belly. And you got facial hair like you a dude. And don't no dude want your ass. You bitter and angry. This is your opportunity to be with something. This dude willing to take a chance with your selfish ass. But you don't want to see. You don't want to see. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, them. Where the attractive niggas at who put them babies in your ass? They ain't around. Yeah, your baby daddy getting money to his kids with you. Disappropriating funds by spending on you. It's called tie support. Not ex girlfriend support. I told dude, I hope you find your miss right. Miserous right. Because it ain't me. Then I hung up in his face. He a whole unattractive sin. And you a whole envy. It's your boy King. Bye with another one. video. So hit that like, subscribe, become part of the team. Y'all can't make this shit up, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, protect yourself. I like the way the movement. How y'all niggas is getting too feminine for me nowadays. Y'all don't really got no masculinity. Y'all stand ten toes down. Uh, I kind of like y'all energy. That like, I ain't going to be no sap-sucking ass dude no more for y'all. I like that. Y'all keep up that. Drop the femininity. You know, get you some masculinity. Listen to these young, listen to your old heads like, you know, such and myself who went through shit like this. I ain't gonna tell you no, uh, uh, I ain't gonna see you wrong. Listen, ain't nothing wrong with taking your girl out, picking up the check, opening the door, protecting and providing for your girl. I ain't nothing wrong with that. That's one part of like modern times I don't like. It's not tricking if that's your old lady, that's your old wife. It's not tricking. Nah, that's that's you providing for yours, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with going on the first date. I'm old school. If I ask you on a date, I'm going to pay. But if you over there, you know, ordering, ordering everything out the menu and, and ordering to go, I'm playing. There go that man again popping up. No, I'm not. I'm not going to order no to go box for your children. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Not, no, we're not going on a date with you and your kids unless I say we can go on a date with you and your kids. And then I'm bringing my kids. We make it a date. But no, I mean, there's not going to be no I give and you take and you don't give me back nothing in return. No, no doggy bags. No dates with your friend unless you and your friend jumping on pops. Like, I won't call King Pop unless you and your friend one up here, one down here. You heard me? All right. Like, and I spend, I, I pay for both of y'all dinner then. Y'all one right here, one down there. You heard me? Y'all get it. This boy King down. Another reactionary video. Hit that like, subscribe, become part of the team. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, I'm not trying to tell you what you should and shouldn't do. If you want to go sponsor an ungrateful, a winch, go ahead. Who going to shame me and expose you on the internet? Go ahead. Who did badass psychopathers don't disrespect you because they got your daddy and you got their daddy? They mad again, them money. But they try to ask mama, spin it up on herself. It don't make no damn sense. This is like a. <sighs> Nigga circle. <laughs> Not this a nigga. Nigga circle, bitch. Like and subscribe. Part of the kingdom.